Hello YouTubers, so this is the how-to video on how to wire a Valcon 1021C self-amplified speaker here. Here's the front of it. Now I've already pre-wired it ahead of time, so to save the time of the video, I'll go over those color codes in a bit. But let's go over our audio cables, such as these 3.5s I'll be using for this application. Usually you'll have a male to male 3.5 mil cable. If you chop off one end, you should be greeted with these wires here. You have a bare copper and your left and the right channels here, your stereo channels. You want to take those these two red and the white and twist them together. Twist them together. And the reason for that is because you want both those stereo channels to go into you want to be you want them combined for this. This is a mono device. Otherwise, you will be missing some of the stereo details on this and your songs will not sound very good. So this is what you should see. Some manufacturers might ha make, have a green wire instead of this or a black wire, but it's still this bare, it's in place of this copper wire here. It's the same thing. Now, some cables may look like this. You have two bare coppers and a red and the white. You still want to twist the red and the white together. As normal, as usual, like the other cable. But also you want to twist these bare coppers together like this. To make it into two separate wires for this. Now if you cut off a 3.5 mil cable and you get greeted with this kind of wire here. This is if the camera will focus. Take this and throw it in the garbage. Those are crappy cables and they are no good and they are prone to shorting. So now, in terms of my bench power, or in terms of my power supply here, I'm just going to be using this bench power supply here to power this. I have it set at 24 volts at 250 milliamps. These things should draw no more than 50 milliamps and it's cranked on max. So, before I, get, before I wire this up, let's go over the color codes here. So we have blue here. This first wire you see, which is blue, that's my tip, the yellow is my ring, the black is my minus 24 volts, and this red is my GND, which is my positive 24 volts. Here's my other end here, ready, pre-spliced, pre ready to go. So let's start with the power first. So this red here, you see, I'm going to join it with the GND, which is this other red we talked about. Here's my black. I don't know if you saw that. Red's going to go, positive 24 volts is going to go here. And then this is my black, which is my net minus 24 volts or negative 24 volts. I'm just going to connect it to this cable here. I buy 24 volts of the power supply. This cable is my tip here, this green wood. I'm just gonna join it with this blue one because that is my tip. Here is my ring. I'll join it with this yellow wire here. Now that I separate those. So now, here's my other KY pre splice. So this one's going to be my ring, which is going to be this yellow one you see here. This yellow lead. And then this one's going to be my tip. Try getting camera here. This is my tip. And where I get tip and ring from, the tip is usually the top of the jacket. That's what I refer to. And then the ring is this bottom one, which is ground. Make sure my leads are separated. Now, yours is not going to look like this. Yours is going to be hardwired, I'm sure. But those are my leads. So now, in terms of my audio source here, it will be this laptop. Now, when I turn this on, I should hear a pop. Heard a pop. That's good. So now I'm going to plug this speaker into my computer. There you go. 
turn my computer down a bit just in case this valve call is set to loud. There we go. There's the power consumption. These don't consume a lot of power, but this. So yeah, this is how you wire a Valcom 1021C self-amplifier speaker for personal use. Here's your wire right here that you would want to use. It could be either just basic four conductor telephone cable, or you could use the Cat5 cable, which you could pick up real easily at your local Home Depot or Lowe's. I don't, if you're going to use go with the Cat5 route, you really need, only need to use two pairs. So you don't have to use all eight of them for this. Because this is a four-wire device. I'm just going basic with this because that's what I have. And I don't have to waste Cat5 wire in the process. 